Hi guys, this is Cal, and welcome to my video about a program called Strokes Plus. Basically, what Strokes Plus does is it lets you draw stuff on your screen. For example, this you can use it to rec for recording stuff. Like you, you can show that you're making a circle here. Not only does it do that though, whoops. It also lets you uh, use the gestures to do stuff. So, for example, if I wanted to go back, I could press this button over here on my browser, or I could actually make a gesture like this, which will actually go back. Similar to going uh, back to where I was before, I could just do that. And I could also reload, which is that. So, anyways. Let's see more about this program. So first you can do training mode. So let's draw an eight or whatever. And you can call this something and set it to like I don't know, eight. Whatever. You could make that gesture. So you can make your own gestures pretty much. What so you could do you could select what button you want to use to draw gestures. Uh, then you can make it so that uh, it doesn't actually show what you're drawing. So, for example, I could go back. It doesn't actually show that I drew something. It just recognizes the gesture itself. Let's turn that back on. Uh, then you can also disable it, obviously. And then these are the preferences. For example, you can set to what stuff does over here. There are bunch of other things that you can also set. Uh, Stroke Plus uses Lua or however you pronounce it, so uh, you can use that. There's also s more stuff you could configure over here. Ignore list. It ignores the gestures, I think. Like So if I did gesture in one window, I don't think it would recognize that on purpose if I set it to that. And you have a bunch of preferences, like for example, you can change the color. Honestly, I like the default color, but it's personal preference. You you have a bunch of options really. Then your action scripts. You can see what actions do what again. Uh, more Lua and then just about. Honestly, this is a really useful program because. It's actually pretty cool. It's like you don't have to press buttons, so if you're really lazy, you can just reload the page by doing that. Or doing that will do stuff, you know. It's a really good program, so I'm Kel, thanks for watching.